Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? How have you been doing? Feels like it's been forever. So, um, a little bit of an update. I'm in a garage right now. <laughs> Sweaty because I just went for a walk. Anyway, um, um, so I'm going to do these videos um, as the last two months, like, November, December, rest of the year type of vibe um, and pick up with the regular schedule programming uh, in December, probably, yes. Um, so I'm actually staying with my parents right now because my mom needed to have a knee replacement, so I came out here to help them with that. That's actually taking place on Halloween day. So um, if you have any good vibes available, send those over to my mom. Um, so as you'll see, my space is a little different because <laughs> I don't have my table. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really it. I just wanted to give this quick little intro, say hello. Hope you're doing well. I'm sweating like a bitch. Um, I'm in Vegas or technically Henderson. <laughs> um, used to Colorado, a little bit cooler weather, but that's okay. My skin is loving how much I'm sweating. <laughs> so let's get into the readings. Say hi in the comments. Um, and yeah, let's go. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome. And welcome back to Heretic Owl Tarot. I hope you're doing well. I think I said that in the intro. I, I did that intro a couple weeks ago. Um, so I have no clue what I said. Um, but... I know I mentioned my mom's knee surgery and it was actually moved up a couple weeks so it's already been done but um, if you have any good juju healing vibes all the good stuff available if you could send those over to my mom that would be great we'd appreciate it <laughs> um, so let's talk about you <laughs> like I said we're gonna do these um, we're going to do a few cards for November and a few cards for December. Um, and then I should be back to like kind of a more regular routine either in December or in January. Um, we'll see. So we'll shuffle with a little bit more intention here and then we'll get the cards on the table. So we're looking for a message for Sagittarius, November and December. Okay, clearly chatty, but not yet. Also, if the camera is kind of bouncing around a little bit, I apologize for that. I'll try to minimize it as much as possible. I don't know if that's kind of annoying or not, but... Sagittarius. It's just, I'm, it's the feeling, you know? I'm just, I'm like waiting for the feeling. When the cards are ready.
there. Oh. Oh. There. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So for November, we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Lovers. <laughs> That's interesting, okay. For December, we have the High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles, Death, and Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay, okay. This is so interesting. In a good way, of course. I mean, we'll go through, of course, each one of these cards, but it's so amazing that these two cards came out next to each other. I mean, the Two of Cups is basically the Minor Arcana card to the Lover's card. So, <laughs> so we start with the Page of Wands. Wands have to do with action, communication, creativity, desire, passion. Um, you know, and it's fire, right? You know, like wands represent fire. So it's, you know, what what is the thing that sparks passion and desire, creativity within you. And when we talk about the page, you know, the page is the youngest of the court cards. So it's, it's like when you first decide to do something new or, you know, kind of having that childlike wander, wonder, whatever, about... <laughs> some new adventure, right? Because they are adventurous. It's like, I just, I just want something new. I want some excitement in my life, looking for um, maybe even the thing that does spark creativity or passion within you. Cause you know, I mean, we can kind of see how they're standing on the cliff here, just kind of overlooking. Um, we you know we have some pyramids here like it's it's just kind of like what possibilities are available or what possibilities can i create and again you know i mean like there's this kind of fun element like maybe maybe the element of fun has been missing For a while and it's interesting that it's paired with the two of cups I mean generally the two of cups you know talks about relationship some people see it as like soulmate cards or true fl tr tr uh, true flames what <laughs> twin flames if you you know like connect or resonate with with either of those um, I mean there are generally two people depicted on the card because it's, you know, we start with the Ace of Wands or Ace of Cups, excuse me. And the Ace of Cups is saying that, you know, like you, your cup is overflowing. Your needs in, on an emotional level are being met so much so that you have enough to give or share with another person. So that's when we move on to the Two of Cups. But the thing about the Two of Cups also is that both people show up with their own Ace of Cups. So, you know, like both parties are showing up with their own needs being met. 
their own cups being full. So it's like this equal exchange of energy. So not one person is giving more than the other or not one person is taking more than the other or whatever, right? Like it's more reciprocal. So, I mean, of course, this can be um, in relationships as far as romance goes, but it could also be platonic. It could be business. It could even be reconnecting with a part of yourself. You know, recognizing that there may be another, you know, like multiple areas in your life that maybe you need to, um, or maybe even want to provide a bit more attention to. And that could be where this page of wands is coming from. Recognizing the need for adventure or excitement or even learning something new. This is very much your energy also, right? Just being wands, fire. So again, you know, this kind of reconnection to yourself, there certainly can be somebody else involved here. So again, you know, I mean, it would depend on your situation. You could certainly even be meeting somebody that... presents this adventure feeling or they could be you know like making you excited about the possibilities so there definitely you know there could be somebody here but it's interesting because now we have the eight of cups over here and the eight of cups talks about walking away from what is no longer serving you know, it's like you've gone through each one of these eight cups and none of them really brought you the fulfillment that you thought that it would. So you move on. And what you're moving towards is the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. <laughs> it's it's definitely kind of that grass is greener feeling. But in this case, the grass is greener. <laughs> because like I said, right, I mean, like you're walking towards the nine of cups and that is the greener grass. So, you know, again, it's like, you know, we have this page of wands here. Excitement, adventure, you know, just recognizing the need for just even maybe something different in your life it could even be just different um like a different network or connections you know um and then moving towards it and then we have the lovers card down here so it's almost like you know this progression from from the two of cups to the lovers. It's like an actualization of the two of cups into the lovers. You know, I mean, the lovers talks about choices and decisions, which, you know, I mean, the eight of cups is definitely a decision to change course or choose a different path. But it also talks about recognizing the the dance that happens between the masculine energy and the feminine energy. And it doesn't necessarily need to be gender related it's the energy of those things so you know masculine is initiating going for it right it's um protection those type of things 
the femme energy is, you know, being in flow, receiving intuition. So, you know, it's like the yin and yang, how both of those energies, when they're present and in balance, the power that they have. Like I said, you know, I mean, this can certainly be a relationship. You could be deciding if the relationship that you're in is meeting your needs. Or this would signify either a shift in the relationship or a departure from that relationship in order to find something that does better meet your needs. And again, you know, but I also... I'm just kind of getting this feeling too about how this is almost like this progression within yourself. You know, and it's also interesting how these two are, you know, it's almost kind of like they're meeting for the first time, right? Like this almost has like first date energy. <laughs> and these, I mean, like look at all of this foliage around, right? And, you know, just kind of how intimate they are here. This can also even be a progression of a relationship that you're in. You know, if you, you know, kind of almost like taking it to a new level of vulnerability or intimacy here. And again, it would depend on your situation because if there is not another person involved, then this is definitely talking about you and how you are meeting your own needs and how you are, you know, connected to your energy body and meeting your own needs. Both of these cards even talk about moving. That could be something that maybe you have even been pondering, like where I'm at right now physically? Or is there a better place that I've been considering for some time that could bring me even closer to my goal, right? And like I said, this is November. And then we move over here to December and we start with a high priestess. So clearly... <laughs> Um, and I love how the high priestess is looking at this eight of cups. And it's even like, you know, the page of wands is even looking at this eight of cups. But the high priestess, um, I see the high priestess as our direct connection to our star player. It's like our higher self. If you connect to some other, um, like God source spirit it would be that but there's this again you know like flow intuition she's very much connected to the moon also so you know there could even be a bit of mystery but it's it's more exciting than you know i mean the moon is more like things are hidden and um, you may not have all the information that you need, but the high priestess is more about kind of trusting that mystery, even unveiling something about yourself. Like, like I said over here, like this reconnection to yourself. It's like, it's very powerful too, like almost like sovereign, you know? And then we have this death card. And death talks about something ending in order for something new to begin there's that saying 
that new beginnings disguise themselves as endings, that's what the death card is. And this pairing together, it's like there's almost maybe this release here of whatever maybe this is or even just um, an old way of thinking, an old way of being, whatever it is, like there's definitely some sort of, of a release here that happens in December. And it happens as a result of you plugging in to your own power. That's beautiful. And it's kind of like as a result of that, <laughs> it just, it feels like, and there hasn't been any other reading that has felt this way, but it feels like there's this like domino effect going on here. And that very well could be true. I mean, you know, there could be timelines collapsing. Um, See, I'm, t <laughs> I'm taking that as confirmation. That happened during somebody else's, it might have been Virgo, but it was the same thing because I stopped the video, of course, so you didn't have to listen to that. <laughs> but as soon as I stopped the video, like the ringing stopped. So yeah, taking that as confirmation. Whatever I was even saying, like I've already forgotten, but... I know I was talking about like this domino effect, uh, um, right? This domino effect that's going on here. And it's almost like, you know, too, I feel like in the back of my mind, <laughs> because after I'm like done with these readings and even during the readings, you might've even heard me say, like, I don't even remember what I said five seconds ago. Um, I just don't. I, I want to, you know, so that I can kind of build on the messages, but maybe someday, <laughs> maybe someday that'll be um, the purpose. But I feel like in the back of my head, I feel like I'm just, I'm like being reminded that there has been just kind of something that's been like building for Sagittarius for some time, you know, and like, there's been a lot of patience being asked of you, you know, like there's just things maybe in the background, you know, energies had to kind of calibrate to something that was going to happen, you know, like, and we don't, you know, we don't really have like the world card out here. So there's nothing necessarily that says that like, there's anything that's I still feel like it's unfolding, but I feel like November, December, you're, it's like you're starting to see it. You're starting to feel it. You, you, you recognize it within your existence. There could be something major happening here, like in November, even of course, December, like we we're talking about. But I say that because after these two, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the effing Ace of Pentacles. So, <laughs> which is such a beautiful combination. The Ten of Pentacles talks about legacy, um, abundance, like, you know, I mean, Pentacles having to do with our money, how we make it, how we spend it, how we save it. It's our time, how we spend and save our time. It's literally anything in the physical 3D. And again, this could even talk about moving. So again, you know, like if you have a move on the mind, this would signify that, you know, I mean, of course, use your own authority, but this would be signifying that if there is a move, 
it is a good move. Um, but yeah, pentacles, time, it's our physical body also. I've been seeing the ten of pentacles as being even like a, a goal. Because in this depiction of the ten of pentacles, and again, we have these two people here, two people here, two people here. There could be somebody else involved in this. There does not have to be. <laughs> okay. Even if maybe this person is is not necessarily somebody that you're like in direct relation to, but maybe they're a mentor or some sort of somebody that's like helping you out because we also have the six of pentacles here. I mean, shit, it could even be a guardian angel or spirit guide or something along those lines. But, you know, we have this, these people here that are kind of looking at this thing like either there was an accomplishment that was reached, an achievement that was reached, a goal that was reached, or they're setting a goal like this is where we want to be whatever this would signify for you in your life i mean the ten of pentacles though would signify that it's that it's been reached however right <laughs> it does not have to be um and also you know i mean the ten simplifies down to a one which is the ace of pentacles so it's like there is some sort of a completion here. Again, you know, there could be some sort of achievement or goal that has been reached here. And it. And it's like um, literally right, like literally right behind it is this new opportunity. And I also love how this hand is coming out from the left side of the card which is where the death card is. So it's like, you know, whatever this cycle is that's ending, there's literally this brand new beginning right behind it. And it's it's possible because of the death card, because whatever this was in your life ended and it freed up that energy for the Ace of Pentacles to come in. And even for you to see it, right because sometimes we don't see you know if we're just kind of wrapped in our own you know kind of stuff or whatever we don't see new opportunities as being that and even like i said right with the the death card every new beginning disguises itself as an end and literally it's like this is the end this is the beginning but it's a good end this could even be like um, gratitude, like appreciating where you are, or even, you know, since we are talking about December, it could even be just, you know, if you're one of those people <laughs> that takes a little bit of time to reflect on the year, you know, like here we are in December. Let me just kind of take stock of where I am now versus where I was in January. And what kind of, what goals do you have for 2023? Or, or how do you want to build on what the Ten of Pentacles is? I'm not like a resolution setter. Um, I mean, I stopped doing that a few years ago, but this doesn't have to be like resolutions or anything like that. It doesn't have to be as, you know, kind of regimented as that. You know, it could just be, again, you know, recognizing where you are, almost like even maybe just making a gratitude list, but and what what do you want to bring in or what do you want to foster in 2023 and again you know i mean pentacles money 
time, your physical body, um, literally anything tangible. It's the physical 3D world where you're living, where you're going to live. And also, too, it's almost kind of like, you know, the possibilities are endless. And <laughs> it could just be almost like this reassurance that this Ace of Pentacles is coming. And then, like I said, you know, we have this Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is generally talks about like charity. This is somebody coming in to help you. But again, there is this reciprocity. It's like, you know, the energy that you put into a thing is the energy that you're going to get out of that thing. It could even be matching energy. I mean, you know, we the, the scales are balanced here. So going into 2023, you could be maybe even feeling a bit more balanced. Um, maybe there is somebody that Um, or there's just maybe like money that shows up from somewhere or someone. This isn't alone, though. Like the Six of Pentacles talks more about it would be more like a grant or a gift type of thing, not, you know, like something that you would have to pay back. But like I said, right, I mean, like there is some sort of energy exchange going on here, though. Two of Pentacles, creating balance. Queen of Cups, healing. You know, a Queen of Cups is the minor arcana to the High Priestess. We have the Chariot. Things, you know, moving forward quickly. The Queen of Wands. So we go from the page to the Queen. Knowing the actions that you want to take. Knowing what you want to do feeling inspired and then the sun card all of the good feelings you know this is life force energy revitalization beautiful beautiful I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to read your cards. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.